Draw Clubbers, and welcome to Cat Week, week number two of Draw Club Daily Draw. Thanks so much for being here. And as we did last week, we are going to start with some simple drawings at the beginning of the week and finish with more difficult drawings that are a little more involved. So for the first day, we are doing some really simple cats. Really simple shapes turning into really simple drawings. So let's start. We've got our whole page here, and these are so simple that we're gonna draw two cats today, all right? And we're gonna start with one over here on this side, and it's just going to be a simple little rectangle or square that we draw, okay? Just like this. Everybody can draw a square if you take a little bit of time. If it's kind of awkward or uh, leaned off to one side, take the time to erase and try and get it straight, parallel to the side over here. Same thing on this side. And up here, and down here. And then over here, next to our little circle cat, or our circle cat, our little square cat, we're gonna draw a circle cat. So we're gonna start a little ways away from this one, and we're gonna draw kind of an oval that's got a little bit of a flat spot on the bottom here, like it's laying on the ground like a drop of water or something soft like an egg or something like that. We're drawing a big oval, 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 circular sort of a shape, but then we're sort of curving it and cutting it off down here on the bottom, okay? So we've got our square and our circle to begin drawing our cats. From here, we're gonna build a body onto our circle cat. So we're just gonna come off the side and we're gonna draw another little circle or kind of oval off the side. And we'll modify that. Remember, these are just placeholders. We put these shapes together to make it easy to draw our character. And then from there, we're gonna go up to the top and we're gonna draw these little triangle tops. So we're gonna draw one little triangle here, boom. And we're gonna draw one little triangle over here, boom, like that. Now, when I say triangle, it's only the top of a triangle. And you guys have known that from my other videos. I call those triangle tops. And the idea is to get like a jag or a zag that's part of a triangle, but not always the whole triangle. And out from the back side, we're going to draw a little curve off like this for a leg. Okay. And out of the back side of the head here, where we wouldn't see the top of the shoulder, we're going to draw a little curve out like this for a foreleg or a front arm. Okay, and we may change up the sizes of these and sort of get different looks for them, but for right now, we're just doing the basics of laying out where they're gonna be. We wanna get the proportions right and we wanna get the placement right. And then off the back, we can add a little tail. So we're just gonna curve up like this, make it like a little backwards S, and then we're gonna follow that parallel and we can make the end of the tail fatter or thinner or fluffy or whatever we want. But for right now, this is really simple. A little curve around like this, a little curve around like this, a couple little paws and a tail. Two little triangles for ears. Come over to our square. And our square is going to sprout two little triangle ears up on top. Do, 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 do. And up there, okay? And as we come down the side, we're going to curve around into the bottom. Okay, so we had a square or a rectangle. Now we're curving into a flat bottom like that. We're gonna come up to the top and erase where the ears go into the head or the body. We're gonna come over here and we're gonna erase where the ears go into the head or the body. And we're gonna erase where the tail goes in. The arms and legs, maybe this one, We'll erase, but over here, that's kind of behind the face, okay? So now look at this. We've got these cute little basic shapes that we can start with. Let's start adding some features. Features make all the difference in the world, so let's start adding some. We're gonna come over on this side and make the simple, simple circle eyes that you often see in internet icons because they're so few pixels that are needed to draw them and make them understandable. Plus they can be really exp expressive. So we draw a nice big eye here. Try and make it as close to a circle as you can. 
making a circle is kind of a talent. It's not always easy. So even these simple drawings can be kind of difficult if your eyes all bleh, squiggly off to the side. Then we're going to come to the other side, and even though they're touching, we're going to try and make another eye. And this is even a little bit more of a challenge because you're trying to make it about the same size as this one and have it be as round as that first one was. Okay? So now check this out. We've got some cutesy eyes. Over on this cat, we're going to do some simpler eyes. And we're going to come down below, right down near the bottom, maybe about a third of the way up. We're going to take and we're going to draw a circle down here like this and a circle down here like this. All this one has is little pupils. We don't have the big circles around it. This one, however, would look kind of dumb if we didn't have the pupils in there, so let's add them. We can put them anywhere. We can stick them right in the middle like this, looking at us. Or you know cats. Cats are often looking at other things, so I'm going to take his pupils or her pupils, whichever kind of cat it is, and stick them up in the corner like this. And then I'm going to erase those original ones. So there's that, and there's that. Okay? So we've got big circle eyes, little circle eyes. Even if they're little circles, we're still going to fill them in. There are some cartoons out there that don't fill the eyes in. In the old days, Orphan Annie, the comic strip, was notorious for having eyes that didn't have any pupils. There are even jokes made about that. And a lot of different kinds of anime uh, stories end up having the pupils sort of be open and white like that. But we're going to fill these ones in. Okay. Now, we have to add sort of a cutesy looking face. And we can end up doing that in a lot of different ways. But let's start up top and make the insides of the ears. And the insides of the ears here. And then let's come down in between the two uh, eyes and let's make a little triangle like this for our cat nose. And let's shade that in just a little bit. Okay? And you can make that cat nose have a little curve to the top of it if you want to. That always looks nice, although sometimes if you make it too much of a curve, it starts to look like an owl. It looks like a beak or something like that. Okay? And then... If it's a cat, you want to have something that comes out underneath on both sides, a little half circle like this. And that definitely distinguishes it from an owl or something. Now, if we made these ears longer, this could actually be like a little bunny rabbit, especially if we gave it like buck teeth or something. At this point, you can do some kind of personalization. I always like to add a little triangle for a tooth or something along that line. And as we come down the side of this, what appears to be a big face, we're going to do like we did over here with the arms, and we're going to add a little curve like that for a very simple, really cute arm. You don't have to have high detail with cartoons to get things across that are cute. So if you want to make your own characters, sometimes it's fun to start with a simple shape like a square or a rectangle or a circle, and then just add little bits and pieces or parts on there. Now this arm doesn't seem to be quite down as low as the other arm, so I'm going to fix that while we're here. It's a very simple fix. This is a simple drawing. I might as well get it right, right away. And you'll get used to that. When you look at things, try and look at how they compare in proportion to the other side or to the other eye or to the other ear. Sometimes you'll make a tiny little ear and a bigger ear, and that can be cool, but a lot of times you want to end up having something that really is symmetrical and has the look of them both being the same size. And that takes time to draw. All right, we're going to come down and we're going to add some little ovals now down here. Whoop, like this. And whoop, like this. And we're going to erase inside the oval. We're going to look at our ovals and say, okay, are those roughly the same size? Yeah pretty close to the same size, so we can stick with that. Okay, and on the bottoms of the feet, which is what is showing towards us, we're going to put little pads. Okay, one, two, 
three little ovals there and a little side oval down here, okay? So we could end up making one, two, three, four little pads on this side. Then we're going to go one, two, three, and you'll notice I'm filling them in as I go now. Little pads here and a little oval on this side. All right, so now we've got this whole cat that's basically constructed really quickly and really simply from one simple little rectangle or square. Now you can go ahead and embellish that if you want to. You know me, I always like to put little tufts of hair on a character. And if you want to, because we're on the sides of the face over here, we can bow this out and we could bring this down and go one, two, like that with little triangle tops and give sort of a look of a cat like that. We can come out to the other side and go one, two. We try and get them roughly the same height and that can look like a cat as well. And if you want to, you can add little whiskers or little dots for whiskers. Really, the options are limitless. You, ha you might have a cat that's got spots. So maybe, I'm gonna make these whiskers a little longer. I think that they're kind of gumming things up in there. You might have a cat that has spots, so maybe you make a little spot here, a little spot there, a little spot there, one over here, and you go ahead and fill those in. That's really up to you. You don't have to draw it exactly like this. You go ahead and make your cat. If it's got tiger stripes, add tiger stripes. If it's got a real big fuzzy furry tail, add a real big fuzzy furry tail. If it's got a really thin streamlined tail, go ahead and add that. That can just be uh, off to the side. We've got a tail like this over here. So maybe we just do one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four little triangles and we have this sort of bushy tail off to the side, okay? Now this is a really simple cat, and you'll notice that it could also be a hamster. It could also be some kind of other little furry woodland animal. A lot of times when you start to draw a character in cartoons, just simple little changes like we said earlier, like long ears or buck teeth or something can change it from one kind of animal to another very easily. So you've got a lot that you can play with when you start with simple shapes. Let's move over to this cat now. And this cat is kind of thump, laying down on the ground. And we can go really simply and just do the cheeks of this, uh, or yeah, the little front cheeks of this cat and bring them up and around like that, okay? And over on the other side, up and around like this. And it's very cutesy, okay? That's really all you need to do. You don't even have to add that nose in if you don't want to. You can just have that little cute mouth, all right? And then a lot of times, if it is gonna be cutesy, we'll do what they do with Chibi, and that is we'll add sort of a little cutesy uh, sort of shadow or shade down here. It's not as dark as the eye, but we still shade it in. Kind of looks like there's a little bit of red on the cheeks or a little bit of blush or something along that line. Now, I'm gonna come all the way up to the top and I'm gonna draw a little triangle inside of the triangle for the inside of the ear. And this time I'm drawing out, drawing out the full triangle, like that, all right, and I'm just going to fill that center in. And I think more than this character that's got the little tufts on it and so on, over here and up here, this kind of looks nice smooth. So I'm going to go over my lines. And over my lines and make that sort of the default option here. I want to make it look like that is my outline for my cat. Now, this ought to be a drawing today that nearly anybody can play around with and do and get some good results. I know as we get further into the week, they can get a little tougher, but just try them. Even if you don't succeed on the ones later in the week, 
just trying them makes you better and better at it. And I'm guessing if we go step by step and go slow enough, or if you go back in the video and look at it a little bit, if you can do this, you can do any of the stuff that we do later in the week. Now, we're gonna come down here and finish off the arms. Make them a little bit thicker like we did before. And we're gonna curve the stomach down into directly the leg here. So we're gonna go up and over and in. Okay, and then we're gonna come up around the rear end and I'm gonna go into the space where the tail is a little bit because the tail kind of comes out from behind and so there would be maybe a continuity from the body into the tail, but we are also gonna see the curve of the back and the rear end of our cat. So let's go now and add a thicker line around the tail. And see, this is very simple today, but these are really cute little animals, really cute little cartoon cats. And again, you can go ahead and personalize this any way you want to. I'm gonna add a couple little tiger stripes on the back and fill those in. We could even do the same on the side here of the face. As we curve those little triangles in and curve those little triangles in. And fill them in we get a cute little look that doesn't add too much outside surface feature like out here, but gives the idea of sort of extra features to our character. Now the very last thing that I'm gonna say here is you can always add other things like little eyebrows up over top, or if you wanna emphasize a character and even make it look more icon and cutesy, you can take the time to really thicken the outside lines of the face and the body. And as you do that, you'll make that not only pop out, you'll give it sort of a simplistic look that feels more like an icon that you can shrink down to a small size and people can still see because the outline is thick enough to do that. Now, in order for me to get those lines all thick like that, it takes a couple of minutes and I don't want to use up all of your time. So I'm just going to do this quickly and then I'll speed up the video so that you can see it getting thick. The only problem with doing that is once you've done it, once you've started it, you're kind of committed to doing it and it takes a while to make those lines thicker. Fortunately, in this day and age, if you've got a computer, you can usually make those kinds of thick lines very quickly in an uh, application like Photoshop or Illustrator or even some of the apps that they have online. So I'm just going to thicken up the eyes here just a little bit darker since I made those lines on the outside darker. It's going to make those pop a little bit more. And then feel free to personalize these. Add a little background, do what you want. I might like to actually make my lines just a little bit heavier and a little bit more firm here. But that's really it. And you can see that in a very short period of time, we're able to draw some fun, simple, but expressive characters. And you'll notice there that I just made a, a line problem and it went off into the side. My line sailed on me. That happens. When it happens, just erase, start up again. All right, and now in the last two videos that I've done, I noticed during editing, I noticed during editing that I did not sign my work. 
So I want you guys to always remember to sign your work. So I'm going to try very hard to get you to do the same thing. And I'm going to try very hard to remember to do it myself so you understand. On all my professional work, I end up putting my signature on. But sometimes when we're sitting in here doing the video and I'm trying to get it done so I can edit, uh, I forget that. But I shouldn't. And you shouldn't either. You've done the drawing. You deserve the credit. Put your name to it. So I'm going to come down here and sign my initials. W A G and then I kind of thicken those up just a little bit like this on the top a little bit thicker up there a little bit thicker up there and then I take my G and go through the A turn my wag into a little tail that's wagging and then I like to add the date or at least the year so it's 2020, uh, 2020 so I add a 20 down there so, this is our first day of cats. Very simple, hope you had fun drawing with me. We're gonna start day two tomorrow with a little bit more in-depth cat. Not too crazy, but a little bit more in-depth. Please come back and draw with us. We always love having you here. And as always, please, please, please subscribe, like, and share these videos. We need all the followers we can get so that we can have a big group of people that draw together. People who love to draw, love people who love to draw to draw with. And we have a good time doing that. So, see you tomorrow. Have a great day.